How to convert your hard drive partition from MBR to the newer version GPT. One might ask, why the need to convert my partition from the old standard MBR or master boot record to the newer version GPT, or GUID partition table? Basically, for two reasons, MBR disk only has a limit of 2 terabytes capacity. If you have more than 2 terabytes hard drive you may need to change to GPT where it can handle more than the said capacity. Second, MBR is limited only to having 4 partitions where a GPT can have more than 4 partitions if you wish. These are the two basic reasons to shift, but for me there's a third. Being able to increase allocation of my video RAM beyond 2 GB with a GPT disk at hand. Click on my video link below to find out how I was able to increase my VRAM to more than 2 GB. There are a lot of softwares you can use to make the conversion. Even Windows 10 itself has its own built-in tool. All of these tools can be used for conversion without having to reinstall Windows or lose any data. Some are freeware but some needs the paid version in order to make the conversion. Since the Windows built-in tool was already part of the system, it's definitely free, so I opted to go with it. Before proceeding, we need to verify the actual format we have on our hard drive. Right-click Start, select Disk Management, Right-click Disk 0, click Properties, then select the Volumes tab. Here you can determine the type of partition you have. In this case it shows Master Boot Record or MBR. Therefore we shall proceed to the conversion. It would be best to validate the procedure first before making the actual conversion. This way you can determine if converting from MBR to GPT on your system would not cause any problem. Type the CMD command. Right-click command prompt and run as administrator. At the prompt, type in the following commands. then press enter. If it says validation completed successfully, then you're good to go. Type in the following commands. Press enter. Somewhere in the end it will say conversion completed successfully. It will also remind you to set your boot options to UEFI in order for your new GPT partition to boot successfully. Here you will have the option to choose between legacy and UEFI, choose UEFI.
to verify the conversion. Right click start, select disk management. Right click disk 0. Click properties. Then select the volumes tab. Here you can see that the partition has been converted successfully to GPT. Please like and subscribe if you find the video helpful.